Welcome to an extensive guide on how to enhance your Fortnite gaming experience on PC by increasing your performance, showing you the best in-game settings for low to mid-end PCs and applying a few easy tweaks to get the most out of your system while playing Fortnite. Let's start by launching the game. I will first of all go over the best in-game settings for low to mid-end PCs. This means that if you're using a newer, more powerful PC, then you should increase these settings quite a bit. In your video settings, make sure to set the window mode to full screen. Using windowed or windowed full screen will reduce your performance by at least 5%. I have set it to windowed to make it easier to record, but I will set it back to full screen when in game. Below, set your in game resolution to your native monitor resolution. In case you're using a low end PC and these changes did not help you out as much as you wanted, then you can lower this setting too. This will in any case improve your performance, but the visual quality will suffer a lot. Next, set your frame rate limit to a value above your screen's refresh rate, but below your maximum in game FPS. In my case, that would be 160 FPS, as I'm using a 144Hz monitor and I'm getting at least 160 FPS when uncapped. Your brightness, contrast, and colorblind mode will not affect your performance. In your graphics quality options, set your 3D resolution to 100%. This option should be decreased to around 90% in case you still need more performance after applying all of these tweaks in this guide. I suggest to you to play a game to see how well your system can handle the new settings and then change your 3D resolution option accordingly. Below, set your view distance to far. Turn off shadows as well as anti-aliasing. Set the textures to medium and effects and post-processing to low. In your advanced graphics options, turn off vSync and motion blur. Make sure to show the FPS counter while playing to see how well your system can handle the game. Set the DirectX version to 11, allow multi-threaded rendering and don't use GPU crash debugging. After applying your changes, make sure to leave the game running and open up your task manager. On this window, in the Processes tab, right-click Fortnite and select to go to Details. In the Details tab, the Fortnite client win64shipping.exe application should be highlighted. Simply right-click this application and select to set the priority to high. This will in turn allocate more resources to playing the game and should in most cases increase your performance, especially if you have other programs running in the background. If your CPU utilization is already at 100% when playing the game, then making this change is not advised and you should leave the process priority at normal. In order to reduce your CPU utilization while playing Fortnite, I suggest to you to end some programs from running in the background, which you don't need while playing the game. But make sure to only add the programs from running, which you know won't break your operating system. When sorting your processes, by CPU and GPU utilization, you can quickly find processes such as your browser running in the background, Steam or Skype, which reduce your overall performance while in-game. The Performance tab will show you in addition how much your available RAM is in utilization, which could help you troubleshoot which components are bottlenecking your performance. Lastly, in the Startup tab, I suggest you to prevent some programs from starting up on System Boot. This will in any case increase your overall performance. You can now close Fortnite and your task manager. When this is done, search for Game Bar to open up your Game Bar system settings. Here, uncheck the recording option and in the Captures tab, make sure to additionally disable the background recording option. When enabled, these settings will only reduce your performance as these processes will run in the background. If you wish to record your gameplay, then I suggest using OBS Studio or an external capture card if you lack performance. Next, open up your file explorer. Here, navigate to the drive on which you saved Fortnite on. Go to your program files, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and in this folder, right click the Fortnite client Win64 shipping application and select Properties. In your Properties, select the Compatibility tab 
and here make sure to disable full screen optimizations and apply your changes. When enabled, this will allow your OS to optimize performance of games when running in full screen mode. However, many users have noticed the opposite effect, meaning that this setting would in turn reduce performance, so make sure that it's disabled. Lastly, we will optimize your graphics card for gaming on your PC. This will be demonstrated on an NVIDIA GPU, and if you're using an AMD graphics card, then apply the same changes in your graphics driver suit. Open up your NVIDIA control panel by right-clicking your desktop and selecting it. On this window, navigate to Manage 3D Settings, and here select Program Settings. Select to add a program to customize, and this window will show up. You should be able to find Fortnite in this list if you have recently played the game. But if this is not the case, then select Browse, which will open up your file explorer. Here, navigate to the drive on which you saved the game. In my case, this would be my D drive. Navigate to Program Files, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64, and here select the Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping application. After adding the selected program, we will specify a few settings below. Make sure to set the CUDA setting to your main GPU. Set the power management mode to prefer maximum performance and set the texture filtering quality to performance. After making these changes, you can apply your changes and then you can close this window. For NVIDIA users, I also suggest to make some changes in your GeForce Experience application. Again, if you're using an AMD GPU, then you can do the same changes in the AMD Radeon software. In the Home tab, select Details for Fortnite, and here you will be able to further optimize some game settings. When selecting this wrench icon, you can use a slider menu to optimize the game for performance or for quality. Depending on your components, you should choose the best trade-off for your system. In addition, you will be able to use a custom resolution which will be applied the next time you launch the game. In the Drivers tab, you should make sure to download and install the latest driver for your GPU. This will take a minute to download, and with the Express installation, you will be using an updated graphics card in less than 5 minutes. This can make the biggest performance difference, depending on how long ago you have last updated your graphics card. I hope this changes helped you out as much as you needed. In case you have a question, then leave a comment and I will get back to you.